My name is Lauren Lackner Boone, and I'm so glad to be back with you today sharing another perspective on why we do the Forever Home Run. Today we get to hear from Lutheran Adoption staff who are so passionate about the work that they do, as well as an incredible adoptive family, Carl and Shannon Jaletsky, who have adopted four children. So let's hear what they have to say. Hello, my name is Rachel Sykes, and I am the Executive Director of Lutheran Adoption Service. Over the last 11 years, I have worked with children and families in the child welfare system through foster care, family preservation, and clinical services for youth. But this year, I am proud to join the Lutheran Adoption Service team. My name is Octavia Lindsay, and I'm an adoption supervisor with Lutheran Adoption Service. I've been with the agency for about 12 years. Hi, my name is Angela Bakerut, and I've been a part of LAS since 2011, and I've been a part of the Forever Home Run since the first year. It's been such a great joy and honor to work with all of the families and kids that we have, um, that we serve, and um, I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to help families um, adopt children through the foster care system. When you work in child welfare, you see all too often that children have experienced incredible loss that they are trying to navigate through messages of rejection and all too often they feel alone in all of this. And so when you know that a child is hurting and they are unable to see how special they are, this job becomes not just a job but a mission. The reason why I continue to do this work, what truly motivates me it's just a core belief that every child, no matter age, race, life experience, deserves their forever family. And if I can be a part of that journey to help advocate for our kids to move the needle towards that goal, I can't think of anything else I'd rather do. Back in 2008 in hopes to expand our family. Me and Carl were married for 15 years at the time and uh, we're not able to have our own children. Um, so um, we looked into adoption and we looked at different ways of adopting. But we thought we felt led to adopt through the foster care. Um, so we reached out to Lutheran Adoption in the beginning of 2008 and by the end of 2008 we met our boys. The adoption went through. Um, after a couple years of our boys being in our home, we felt we wanted, we were led to adopt again. So we reached out to Lutheran Adoption at, in the hopes of expanding our family again. And we were matched with two little girls. It was a pretty simple process in the long run. Uh, they worked with us from start to finish. If ever we had a question, it didn't matter what time it was, whether it was email or by the telephone, we got a response pretty quick. I can tell you the staff from day one have just been fantastic. They actually made a lot of our worries go away through simple conversation. Given the opportunity to be a father for the first time, the joys, the experiences, the first things that, uh, you know, all your friends experienced that you never did. Uh, that was probably one of the biggest positives we got from going through Lutheran. There's going to be ups, there's going to be downs, but there's so many more ups than there are downs. The fact that we've gotten to have this opportunity, we are truly blessed. It was a God thing. Um, our children came to us with very little behavioral issues. Um, and they were pretty accepting of us pretty quickly. We were mom and dad pretty quickly. And I can't tell you what that does to my heart um, when you hear that mom for the first time or that dad for the first time. Um, so working with Ella, uh, Lutheran Adoption and the way they matched us up with our children, I could not have asked for better children to raise and to love and, you know, to for the rest of our lives. Thank you so much, Shannon and Carl, for sharing your story with us. We are so grateful for you guys. And if you're watching, this is the why. 
We want to support families like Shannon and Carl's, and we want more kids to be in loving homes just like theirs. So if you're interested in learning more about how you can be a part of this work or participate in the Forever Home Run, go to foreverhomerun.com. We'd love to have you be involved in any way that you can. I'm also so thankful for our adoption staff that put their hearts and souls into this work. So before we go, let's hear from them why they think the Forever Home Run is important. The Forever Home Run is such a great family-friendly opportunity to engage with our community and to really raise awareness about adoption through the foster care system. The reason why I think the Forever Home Run is so important is that not only is it an event the entire family can enjoy, but it also helps to bring awareness to the community about the extreme need for adoptive families, particularly for our older youth. My family and I have enjoyed being a part of the event for many years, and we're looking forward to many more years to come.